Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the much requested video rendering comparison between the new AMD Ryzen 7 versus the Intel i7. So I have my three-year-old ThinkPad P51. So this one is equipped with a, let's go ahead and show it in CPU-Z here, and we'll also bring Task Manager up. Uh, so we've got a Core i7 Core i7 7700HQ uh, with 32 gigs of memory. So this laptop, I did upgrade it to 32 gigs of memory a couple years ago. So that is the only advantage that will give the Intel platform the benefit of the doubt by giving it double the memory. Now the memory speed is 2400 megahertz. You can verify that here. I don't know why it does that, but there we go. All right, so you can see down there, 2400 megahertz, four out of four, because this laptop has four DIMM slots as a desktop replacement, so it's got four DIMM slots, or so DIMM slots. So 32 gigs of memory, four core, eight thread, i7, Cabby Lake seventh gen. So that's basically the same as Coffee Lake. Coffee Lake's a little bit better, but it's like negligible. Um, it's still quad core i7 in mobile. So that hasn't really changed much over the years, even with the 10th gen, it's not really that much different. Still same architecture, still same same process, it's just you add another plus to it each year. All right, so that's the Intel system. Uh, and then over here we have the new Legion 5, which we've been doing multiple videos on. So this has a Ryzen 7 400H with Radeon graphics, so it's the APU. You can see it's got 8 cores and 16 threads because of SMT, so it's just like hyper-threading on the Intel system. Uh, it has 16 gigs of memory that run at 3200. I don't know why i got to adjust this every single time, but anyway, you can see it right there. 3200 megahertz, 2 out of 2, right from the factory, 16 gigs. I do plan to upgrade this to 32 gigs of memory. Uh, with that same speed, but 3200 megahertz memory is is rather expensive, uh, especially in laptops. So I do want to upgrade it though, because I want to capitalize on the fact that this laptop does run 3200 megahertz RAM at 1.2 volts. So it's really good battery life with really high speed memory. So there you have it. That's going to be the specs that we're looking at here. Oh, for the GPU, the Intel one has a Quadro. M1200, so this is a professional workstation mobile card from NVIDIA. In terms of graphics performance, what you can expect from the consumer line equivalent, this is like a GTX 960M, a Maxwell-based NVIDIA chip. Uh, the only difference between the Quadro, Quadro has certified drivers from NVIDIA. It also has 4 gigabytes of memory as opposed to 2 gigabytes of memory on the 960M. So it is actually slightly better performing than a 960M. Alright, so that's the the Intel system and then again on the AMD one we have a discrete GPU from NVIDIA the GeForce GTX 1650 Ti because that's the highest one that I could get on this system if I could have gotten a 1660 Ti I would have definitely opted for that um, or if they offered a Radeon 5600M or 5500M I would have opted for one of those as well um, so both have discrete NVIDIA GPUs which means both of them gain access to CUDA for the rendering and that will help boost the render times or shorten the render times. So let's go ahead and put this back on CPU and let's go ahead and run this test. Uh, go here and then for the settings in DaVinci we are rendering MP4. Uh, if you guys want to see, there we go, MP4, H.264, same on both sides, MP4, H.264. So both are using the same codec same rendering pipeline. All right, so it's going to be, this is going to boil down to, can the, how, it's more of like a, how well will the quad core keep up with the octa core? Because I'm pretty sure AMD is going to dominate this one. So let me get this so I can try to start them at the same time. And I apologize for the janky camera work here, but it's kind of hard to try to adjust that and then run that at the same time. All right, so here we go. Let me pull up the task manager. They're off. I'm going to look at the FPS. So over on the AMD one, you can see all 16 threads are going. 170, 194, 190, almost 200 FPS rendering at 1080p. 
and you can see the CUDA 1650 Ti and it's already done and the completion time was 18 seconds so it took 18 seconds to render a two and a half minute video at 1080p and the Intel one is still going but it, it's really really loud I can hear those fans you guys might not be able to hear that um, but you can see all eight threads are loaded and you can see the Quadro is putting in work all right it's almost done there we go to 47 seconds so 47 seconds versus 18 seconds on the AMD system so I hope this serves an example of why you would want to get a Ryzen based 4000 series laptop in 2020 because the value for money is pretty impressive so I hope you guys found that video useful uh, with your helping you with your purchasing decisions for laptops if you're going to get one of these uh, later on in the year or if you're going to go for a different vendor let me know which one you're interested in whether it's the Dell G5 the HP Omen uh, or the Asus G14 or the Zep like the Zephyrus or the Asus Tough series G14 uh, I think there's like a bunch of different ones A15 the MSI Bravo there's a whole bunch of them but hope you guys found that uh, video useful and I will see you guys in the next one thanks